Welcome to another video examining the PGT120.com setup. Today we are going to access the system settings using the IP address that we found in our last video. You are going to enter the user and pass, both of which are admin. The first screen that shows up will be your measurement tab. This shows the date and time of the test, as well as the result of the test, the ID of the user, and reasoning for failures. The system information tab shows which firmware is uploaded, the system version, your IP address, the last measurement poll, which is the last time you logged in to view the data. The last user DB sync is the last time the test and database synced. At the bottom are the connected devices. Currently on this tester, there are no connected devices. The history tab shows previous days of test results. We recently reset our system, so we only have one day of testing in this tab. The configuration tab shows system settings. You can change the company to your company's information. Language, date, time, and time zone can all be set up to your preference. Print network info on startup means that the IP address will be printed off the printer upon startup. Rebooting the terminal will reboot the system. You can change the password for logging in as we did earlier. System reset is a factory reset of the whole system and will clear any saved data or user IDs. Occasionally there will be a firmware update in which you can load the file in here. DHCP hostname allows you to set a hostname to configure with your server. Measurement data allows you to change the amount of tests shown on the measurement tab. You can set it in increments of 10 and ending at 40. Footwear in series allows you to test without having to press any buttons. You just step on the footwear tester. Color identification allows you to enable the background color of the test results in the measurement tab. For example, a failed test will display as red and a passing test will display as green. You may also download the measurement data or clear it. The label printer section shows the settings for if you were to have a printer connected. You can disable the printer or turn it off for certain user IDs. Printer paper uses the stamp 2 labels. The network settings allow you to set up a fixed IP address, disabling DHCP in the process. The advanced settings tab allows you to turn off a user ID check. You can also upload your own text or CSV file to implement your own user database. This may come in handy if you wanted to change the user ID set up for individual terminals, as the information in the SQLite applies to all the terminals. The advanced timing section allows you to increase or decrease the timer for the door, light, and buzzer. That is all the information we have today. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on the provided emails or phone number shown. Thank you.